so this question is again about green hydrogen so very interestingly so one to from one topic two questions have been formed in this year's prelims so what is the significance of green hydrogen so we have already said that green hydrogen government is focused in producing or making india as a hub of green hydrogen so government launched the national green hydrogen mission green hydrogen is being considered as your future fuel so what is the importance of this green hydrogen so green hydrogen why it is called as green hydrogen because from the sources that we are using to produce hydrogen so they could be varied so in green hydrogen we are producing it from electrolysis of water that is breakdown of water in presence of electricity and that electricity also is derived from renewable sources so that is why it is called as green hydrogen so in green hydrogen we are using electricity derived from renewable sources using electricity we are splitting hydrogen and oxygen so hydrogen is present inside most of the compounds that you see most of the hydro hydro hydrocarbons that we see or in water also so here we are splitting water and we'll get hydrogen and we'll get oxygen hydrogen is then stored so in this question the question is asking about can it decarbonize these three sectors or these three industries can it decarbonize steel oil or fertilizers so in if you look at some of the recent articles that were released in uh, newspapers and in some of the editorials that there is a talk about green steel green steel what is green steel see what is steel steel is an alloy of iron so we have to get iron from ore so if you take iron if this is an ore of iron this is a famous ore of iron so how do you get iron you have to get rid of oxygen so how do we get rid of oxygen we need to use some reducing agent so conventionally we are using what coke coke is a form of carbon so that carbon acts as a reducing agent and it will form what it will ox it will react with oxygen and form co2 and in turn you will get iron so here what you are seeing that the iron that you are getting along with that you are getting greenhouse gases so can we use hydrogen can we use hydrogen for reduction purposes so hydrogen is said to be a very very good reducing agent so in this if we go for hydrogen then what you will see that you will get iron and you will get water vapors so here it is not producing greenhouse gases so uh, this type of iron that you will get and when you mix it with let us say carbon and other alloys to make it steel then this steel is called as green steel so there is now an increasing demand or there is an increasing pressure on these steel industries to decarbonize their sector so steel industries is also contributing huge hugely to greenhouse gases so steel plants are now focusing on using hydrogen but there are some technical and practical challenges with respect to that but they are trying to solve this in fact in europe volvo volvo which is a major car manufacturer car and automobile manufacturer it has asked its steel suppliers to provide to provide them with green steel so this sector is revolutionizing or they are changing or they are switching from using this to using this so it is being used in steel plants it is being used in seed plants is it being used in oil can it be used in oil refineries so in oil refineries also we are using this oil refineries are what in oil oil is what some form of hydrocarbon so if you want to change one form of hydrocarbon to another form of hydrocarbon you have to use hydrogen only so in that sector also we can quite effectively use the green hydrogen so yes it is being used in it can be used in oil refineries also now what about fertilizer plant in fact even at present most of the hydrogen that is being used is being consumed by your fertilizer plants only so let us say if you have to make a fertilizer of nitrogen so what do you need you need to add hydrogen so this hydrogen if we derive it from green sources or from electrolysis of water then it can decarbonize the fertilizer sector also so fertilizer sector can also contribute in decarbonizing if we start using green hydrogen so it can help in decarbonizing fertilizer sector also so what is the correct answer in this case 
so correct answer is that all the statements are correct